Hey guys, just thought I'd make a video here and <clears throat> excuse me and uh, show you what I picked up here over the weekend. This is a woody teardrop camper and uh, picked it up from a guy down the street here, just right around the corner here from me here in the subdivision here or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> him and his brother built it, I believe he said in 2000. 10 or 11 something like that's about seven or eight years old and uh he never finished it they started it and never finished it and he started caulking it up or silicone and you know around all the trim and stuff and it got halfway and then stopped so uh you know i'm trying to get a video here in and get it covered up before it rains again i've been fighting the rain there all day long on it and uh but whenever they built it he said they got it pretty much to this point here it he had it sitting outside with a tarp over it tarp blew off while he was out of town came back and had some water damage there on it and uh i think they only got like one little light coat of uh varnish on it or whatever and uh but uh anyways i'm gonna hide these little screw holes and stuff and cover them up uh it's got brand new tires and wheels uh the little jacks, scissor jacks are good. Uh, these little round things right here are vents. On the bottom side, they're open up, and I'll show you there in a minute. Uh, it's got uh, screen wire, you know, in there, or whatever. But uh, what he was doing here was he was going to cut out, you know, a, a W, E, N, and S, you know, do the north, south, east, west thing. Uh, I want to do that and cut them out and put them on there or whatever. But uh, this left side right here was the worst with the water damage and I can fix it. It's mainly just, you know, taking off this uh, darker trim right here. But uh, you can see up here on the top uh, where it got, you know, pretty severe damage there on it. Uh, but the oak plywood got some damage there on it too that I got to repair and uh, do that. But uh, this side was the worst. The veneer on the, the oak plywood is, is real loose and stuff so i'm gonna try to try to see what i can do about trying to fix that i may end up having to cut the whole side off right here and putting a, a whole new piece of uh oak ply on but uh they did a good job they cut the doors out and everything got it the same piece to you know keep the grain there and matching looking right and everything uh got the new tires and wheels the frame i'm gonna take and uh spray it black uh you know the whole frame under it and everything but uh he kind of <clears throat> he had it sitting out on his underneath his front porch which is a two-story house with a basement under it and he had it sitting out so the the other side was exposed to the weather you know i mean it was right underneath the porch and uh so it got some damage on it you know you know like on this edge right here you know it needs some trim you know going down this side and uh let me see if i can get it up right here enough to show you but uh here on the the back uh he never did finish uh, he's gonna put a little two burner stove here and a little sink over here and uh that's what i'm gonna end up doing is doing that but uh, he's got you know had a battery box and a battery left in there for me to use a cord to get a new battery And uh, this is some wiring. He's got some wiring coming out over here. He's got some speakers up here. Uh, and you can see right here, the worst of the water damage. That whole side is just split. But what I'm gonna do for right now is put some uh, tight bond three glue down in there, shoot it down in there with a syringe and clamp it all together and try to glue that back in for right now. And, uh, and I'm gonna, Finish silicone and everything up and putting a, uh, go ahead and put a coat of uh, uh, marine grade uh, polyurethane on it. I've got my airplane trailer right here. I'm gonna put me a hitch on the back side and I'm gonna piggyback this little camper on the back side of my airplane trailer. But, uh, but here's the inside of it. Uh, let me go around the other side so I can open up that door and we'll have more light to get in there on it but uh 
you know, I got to put some door trim in here, some door stop. So the door stop, because the door right now to go in, it'll stop and click, but you can take it on in about an inch, inch and a half or so, you know. But uh, it's got uh, linoleum in the floor. These vents, I was telling you about them, I mean, this thing is beautiful, man. They did a jam up job on it, only if they would have finished it. But these little uh, plugs right here just go in like that. Give them a little twist or whatever, and it you know closes off them holes. But uh, it's got rope in here, and I think he said the rope is hiding the wiring and everything. It's got a brand new uh, little thermostatic controlled little ceiling fan vent. Uh, it's got a brand new Kenwood CD player and speakers and everything. And these are cedar cabinets. Uh, and they just, you know, customized, you know, built these cabinets and everything. Him and his brother did it. And, uh, you know, here, it had a mattress in it, like an old mobile home type mattress. And I just took it out and chunked it because it stunk. This thing been setting up for eight years. It's never been slept in, never been pulled anywhere on a trip or nothing. But, uh, but anyways, I just thought I'd show you all this little, neat little old camper deal. I've been wanting this thing here for about a year and had never been able to get in touch with him and get him to let go of it. And uh, finally, finally got a hold of him and got it. And I've been noticing that thing sitting down there for a couple of years, and which has been there longer than that. But anyways, I just thought I'd make a video and uh, show you, you know, what I picked up over the weekend. And uh, these little curtains right here, we're going to end up changing them out. I just I washed them earlier and put them in the washer and cleaned them up. But anyways, better on. I got to get her covered up. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. Sprinkle on me. Thanks for watching.